So, you've just gotten your shiny new graphics card, you get it installed, you go to start your game, and then the game hangs and crashes. Or even worse, you're playing fine, seems like it's going good, but then all of a sudden you get these random points where you've got really bad stutters, frame rates just keep dropping, and you can't figure out why because you're like, hey, I just got a brand new graphics card, this thing should be performing great. Well, I recently was going to do some comparison tests and I was going to compare some R9 290Xs with some R RX 570s. Comparison, not really worth it. But what I ended up figuring out was there were some really weird issues I had. And I ended up figuring out that there was two things that if you don't do them right, it can lead to some just weird performance failures on your graphics cards. Number one thing is a clean driver install. Like you need to get rid of and wipe out the old driver before you put the new one in. And the other one is power. You've got to make sure that you're getting ample power to your graphics cards. And it's not the necessarily the wattage of your power supply, but how much amperage one cable can handle. Let's go ahead and start looking at how you can make sure that you get the smoothest performance out of your graphics cards because we're talking about some actual legit problems. I'm not talking about you're going to get like a 10% increase. I'm talking about stuttering artifacts. These two things could be huge potential problems that could smooth out all this for you. Let's dive in. So yeah, guys, we're starting right in this benchmark and you can see this isn't an all the time result. What happens is, is because I did, even though I'm using the same AMD driver, 18.9.2, because I went from my R9 290Xs and went straight to the RX 570s without that driver scrub, look at that. This won't happen every time, but it happens. And so if you're in this game where it seems like things are running smooth, but then you get these random crashes and you can't explain it, probably need to scrub that driver. I think maybe the only exception to absolutely having to scrub a driver is if you upgrade a graphics card that is using the same architecture. So for instance, Vega 56 to Vega 64, probably don't need to scrub the driver. I probably would anyway. All right, guys, let's look at how to use DDU. So when you download the file and extract it out of the folder, you're going to get this little application file first. When you run this application, this is just a 7-zip file actually, and all it's going to do is extract this folder. This folder is the actual display driver. So, you can run this thing as an administrator if you want to be extra safe. If you really want to be super safe, you're going to see this error pop up. It says DDU has detected that you are not in safe mode. For better cleanup without issues, it is recommended that you reboot in safe mode. So ideally, reboot into safe mode. And if you need to do that, all you have to do is type in MSC and, oh, M, MSC, yes, system configuration. So um, let me just do that again, guys, because, you know, sometimes I get so used to going through this fast. So if you type in MSC into the search bar, then you're going to see this desktop app that comes up, system configuration. You could also search system configuration. If you want to restart in a safe mode, you can go over here to boot and then click safe boot and do network you're going to want network so you can log in your computer and don't have to do everything in you know command line once you apply that when you reboot your computer it'll automatically go into safe mode i didn't think it was necessary though so i'm going to go ahead and just go from here so we're going to say okay it's fine all right no updates found programs up to date if you just download it you shouldn't have a problem now if we come down to here and look over here we can see my network's connected so i'm going to reach the back of my computer Try not to bump the camera. Ah, so talented. So yeah, there we go. Just unplugged my network cable. And so now you can see my little wireless signals up, but I don't have any wireless connection. So now I am disconnected. Select the device type here. You're gonna do GPU. Then if you, you wanna select whatever GPU you're scrubbing. So if you're using integrated graphics and you're upgrading to AMD or NVIDIA for the first time, then you'd select Intel if you have an Intel integrated graphics. And hey, someday Intel graphics cards. Um, but yeah, AMD or NVIDIA, select the card that you had currently installed. If you're upgrading, and then it, it's really simple. So in my case, I was going from AMD to AMD. But look at clean and restart, highly recommended. 
um, clean and do not restart may cause issues like black screen. So we just don't want to use that one at all. Clean and shut down, this is ideally what you're going to use. You're going to shut her down, then you're going to put your new graphics card in. But you know, let's say you already put it in and you're having errors, then you can just do a clean and restart. So doing the clean and restart, but make sure before you do that you've downloaded your drivers. So for instance, right here, I've got the 18.9.2 um, Radeon driver. So I'm gonna leave this, in, this disconnected because if you do the, the shutdown, Windows will automatically try to find the driver like Windows does and reinstall it. This will make sure Windows can't install a driver so that we can install this one fresh after the reboot. The next thing I discovered was the power cables going to the graphics card. So in this particular case, you can see right now, we've got a single power cable here powering both GPUs. Both these GPUs require an eight pin power connection. Now in theory, this should provide plenty of power that this should not be an issue, particularly at stock settings. But it was interesting how I started finding some results. Now I also wanted to see though, and so I tested this on my R9290X as well. And so as you can see here, I have an eight pin and a six pin. So I went ahead and run testing on both configurations, single eight pin, single six pin on a cable to see if we noticed any anom anomalies. And then I did two full eight pins, two full graphics cards on that setup. So yeah, let's see what we figured out there. All right guys, Far Cry 5 has been awesome for helping me see what, you know, just minor instabilities can do that might be hard to detect otherwise. So as you can see, we're gonna run a benchmark. I've got 4K resolution going on, we're running full screen. I've got my two RX 570s in Crossfire. And so right now we're only using normal quality. We're gonna go ahead and use a little anti-aliasing because we can. We are using up our, our VRAM pretty hard. Now watch, let's test this in a benchmark. And, oh yeah, this will take a little bit to load here. So the whole thing is, is that when you're dealing with these kind of situations where you don't have an optimal setup on your GPUs, you may not see anything immediately. So for instance, right here, bam. All right, looking pretty good. This is actually what I would consider a normal benchmark result. Now this isn't what I'd call playable, obviously in 4K, but this is very normal for when you're running a solid benchmark that's gonna do a good job. Now, let's see if I can create that instability one more time. So if I pop out of here and I go ahead and test this again. And we're gonna wait for it to load. And we're going to watch quotes. We're gonna question those. Bam, look at that. Oops, hold on, let me see if I can get this to wake up a little bit. There you go guys, see that frame rate right there? Look at that. You see, this is what I've learned about these minor ends, whether it's the driver or in this case, not using two separate power cables, you're not gonna get a clear, oh my goodness, we saw a consistent 20% drop in frame rates. That's not how it works. But what does happen is when this, see there's some artifacts right there, these shadows kind of show a lot darker and you can kind of see that. They're maybe not official artifacts, but you can see them again there. But they definitely don't look that way when this game is running the way it's supposed to. Guys, let's go ahead and wrap this guy up and go through these two steps one more time. So there we go guys, so I gave you a quick overview. Obviously DDU is an awesome program. It lets you completely wipe that old driver. Of course, you gotta make sure your network connection is disconnected during the process, but that allows you to do a fresh install of the driver without having to do a full reformat of your system. And obviously guys, we've shown that pretty well. We don't want a single cable powering two eight pin connectors. A single cable seems to be all right for an eight pin and a six pin. Now, where that might change is if you were overclocking your graphics cards. Then you might want individual cables going to 
each individual power connection. And if you're running Crossfire, then yes, you're gonna need a lot of individual power cables. But companies like EVGA and like the Enermax Max Titan series, they already do that. They don't split a connector. They've got individual cables going to each individual connection for graphics cards, which is fantastic. Guys, let me know if that helps you out. If you've had some weird stuttering artifacts and you've done one of these two steps or both of these two steps and your GPU performance increased and you did, well, you won't, you won't see an increase in actual frame rates, but you know, those weird drops and weird drop game spike lags, you know what I'm trying to say. If any of those two problems got fixed on your end, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know that this helped out some people and I'm not the only one. I hope this video was helpful. I'll catch you guys later.